Hey guys, you join me this afternoon at my house uh, where we are about to embark off on quite the special journey. Uh, Aston Martin, uh, they sent us out letters in the mail that looked like this uh, about three weeks ago and they invited all sales staff from all different dealerships around the world to fly out to Bilbao in Spain. Um, the, the details on, on this are kind of fuzzy. They say that the location is a secret and what we're gonna be doing out there is a secret, but it very obviously shows the Vantage, the new Vantage on the front of it. So I think we're gonna be going out there to drive them, maybe race them. Uh, but in any case, I figured I was gonna take you guys along for the ride and show you what it's like to be with Aston Martin uh, overseas on a cool experience. Hey guys, so slight update. We're now at the airport lounge. I'm here with my colleague Joey, who is playing on his, uh, <laughs> on his phone. And we're, we're about 30 minutes to our flight, which we're flying from here to Frankfurt and then from Frankfurt to uh, Spain, to Bilbao in Spain. So, should be fun. Well, we've made it halfway through this kind of crazy adventure. It's like 4 a.m. local time in Toronto, which is why I look absolutely exhausted. And me and Joey have survived. We're now in Frankfurt, and we're about to catch our flight, which is going to bring us to Bilbao. On to the next leg. Well, that was quite the trip. I finally made it and I'm super happy to be here. This is, you know, they, they told us it was a secret location. I kind of wonder why the heck is it a secret location? Well, it turns out this is like the hotel in all of Spain. I'd say it's, it was also, I think it was voted in the top five hotels in all of Europe. And where I'm actually staying at is the Hotel Marquis de Riscal, which is designed by Canadian, Torontonian, Frank Gehry. And the same person who also designed that beautiful, um, uh, Guggenheim, <laughs> it's, sorry, long day. Hi guys, just wrapping up here on my final day of the Aston Martin training. We've had the chance to race the Aston Martin Vantage on the Navarro circuit in Northern Spain. We've had the chance to look at the engineering behind the vehicle and see everything from the inside out. And I gotta say, it's everything that Aston Martin says and then some. We've had a look at the engineering behind the vehicle, we managed to get the vehicle on the racetrack, and my driving impressions of the car are simply outstanding. We're gonna to touch base with that on a future episode when we're back in Canada and I get my demo. We'll be able to take it out on the road and see really what the car is like. But I can say firsthand, after driving it and comparing it with the AMG GTS, 911 GTS, and then also um, the, the V8 DB11, that this thing is incredible. It's shorter in length and features some incredible aerodynamic technology, which is really best experienced in person. I really encourage everyone to come by Aston Martin Uptown Toronto and get behind the wheel and see how this thing drives firsthand. But in any case, it is an incredible vehicle and I think it does a great job of spanning the ground between exotic and sports car. It definitely is more exotic in nature than a regular sports car in that it's hand built and it's incredibly customizable and all this. But it's also just about supercar level. I'd say that this vehicle would compare neatly with a 540C from McLaren uh, or maybe even a 570S. Uh, it really is an incredible car. But when our demo arrives, we're gonna take this thing out and drive it and maybe even uh, get it to the track. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.